Yo, what's up everyone? So, sorry about no video last week. Uh, just had some things come up and didn't really get around to it. Um, having said that, probably going to look at changing my video format. Instead of doing uh, weeklies, uh, Wednesday uploads, I'm probably going to change it to doing twice a month, every other week uploads. So, uh, probably put me like first Wednesday of the month and then you know every two weeks after that when the weather does get better I may start looking at throwing in a third or fourth video uh, just for moto vlogs because you know riding back and forth to work and just random rides on the weekend I can probably really throw in an additional video pretty easily um, so that's that's what's going on with that having said all that I did pick up another toy I have a problem I'm going to show you guys that toy now. Uh, I have a couple small things that I want to get done to it and kind of investigate. Uh, one of them is a minor issue with the car that's pretty common in all these vehicles. And I'm going to change out some LEDs for shits and giggles. It's a luxury car and they're using ugly regular bulbs and not clear white LEDs and I just kind of want to freshen up that look a little bit, make it really pop reason that kind of started though is uh, when my license plate lights went out so I was like well I can just buy like a 20 pack of these LEDs and knock out most of the lights so I'm gonna go show you guys the car now and I'll kind of change a couple of the things that I uh, that I just talked about so let's get started guys So, well, if you don't know cars, well, if you don't know cars, you're probably on the wrong channel, honestly, but that's fine. Welcome. Um, so I picked up a 2011 CTSV coupe deal. Couldn't pass the opportunity up. And it's a badass car. Having said that, there are a couple small things with it that are pretty minor, in my opinion. Um... <clears throat> one of which is going to be uh, the door button switches to get out. The car doesn't have like traditional latches. Um, I think it's the C6 Corvette. I could be wrong. Maybe it's the C7. Uh, I think it's a common issue on those Corvettes as well. They have a... Uh, everything's electronic. Uh, there's emergency cable release to open the door, which is what I kind of had been doing to get in and out of the car the last week um, I went ahead and bought the part number because it's pretty it's pretty cheap I bought the part number I went ahead and bought the part um, yeah, there's the part number I'll put it in the description as well you can pick these up on Amazon you can buy them from GM direct it's an AC Delco part regardless I think um, I went ahead and I had issues getting mine from GM post office wouldn't deliver my stuff so I bought another on Amazon got it in two days and then you know uh, I had an entire week and a half or two weeks of my packets being lost coming from GM got delivered the same day so now I have two buttons in case the passenger side decides to take a shit so that's good but um, I'll probably get started with the button and then I'll probably change all the interior LEDs um, I think they're all 194 S and D. Um, the, this is a 30 pack. They're, they're the five LEDs uh, on each one that are that are clear white or crisp. I think they're, yeah, just white. So it should really brighten up all the uh, all the lights in here. They all kind of are yellow like this, which I mean they're bright when you get in the car. It looks nice. It's just you know when you. I don't know if you can see. Let's get down here. You know, it's, yeah, there you go. 
the footwells and stuff. It just doesn't look as uh, clean as it probably could. You know, it's a uh, it's a Cadillac. It's a luxury car. Everything else is like a white crisp LED. So I feel like maybe I should go ahead and change out the rest of the stuff. It's pretty cheap. Like I said, I bought a 30 pack. It was probably like 20, 30 bucks. I don't even remember. Um, I'll throw a link in the description for that too in case any of the CTSV guys out there. I think the only LEDs I won't be replacing with white is going to be the actual trunk light inside the trunk and the visor lights. Uh, those take two different lights. I can also throw those in the description. I just haven't bought those. I don't really have a desire for those as of the moment. Uh, eventually I'll get the trunk LEDs, but let me get started on this switch. It's really simple. Uh, as long as you have like a plastic pry bar tool, you're not going to damage anything. Um, I just happen to have an R&I kit laying around. So let me get started on that. Let's go, guys. All right. So I have this pry bar tool. Um, I actually also have an entire kit, as I mentioned. Um, this is when I was doing PDR. So if you're in the Texas area, actually. Um, hit up Texas Dent Company. Um, I tell them I tell them Ace sent you. Uh, Cody will set you up a good price, and they also do rentals. But uh, I actually got this pry bar from my dash camera that I have yet to install in here. But uh, if there's time, I may go over doing that installation in the CTSV. I don't know if I'll do it in a separate video or not. Uh, I don't want to cram too much in this video. It's more or less to give you guys an update on me making bad decisions because I make bad decisions. I'm, looks like an easy spot is going to be right here on the bottom of the door, actually. And like I said, the reason I'm replacing this is sometimes the door doesn't always open. Like the window will roll down and the door won't pop. So you got to just keep mashing it the right way. And eventually, yeah, say, it's just kind of doing that. Eventually it'll open. Uh, you know, I've just been reaching for the emergency release latch down here, which is kind of annoying. So let's get this pry bar in here. Yep. Like out. All right. So looks pretty simple. Unplug this. Ooh, I just zoomed in. Let me go ahead and unplug it. Bear with me here. Sorry, camera's a little shaky. Really should uh, get a small tripod kind of thing to do this kind of stuff in, inside the car. The housing and the switch are on here. Looks like... So it looks like there's two prongs here and two prongs on the other side over here. I have some tiny pick tools I'm going to use it to pull this out. I would probably recommend something like this if you can. It's a bit thinner and it probably won't break. this uh the housing for the switch is easily so boom out pretty quick and easy um i'm gonna go ahead and put the new switch in there it's the same thing welcome to the close-up um it's the exact same thing just put the switch in there put everything back together the same way you got it out and then i'm gonna test it click New switches in. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. So I actually am not entirely sure how to take any of this out just yet. So I just need to take a gander, if you will, at it. Ah, uh, yeah, my. 
radar detector up here because I hadn't wanted to mount it to the windshield just yet. I got the uh, the windows actually tinted uh, by my buddy Sergio at SYK um, rides, but the uh, front windshield isn't actually well, tinted. It's a uh, it's just like a heat resistant uh, film to protect. I wanted to protect the dash and block out a lot of heat because I do have a black car. So. Um, Give me a second to figure out how to pull this out. Should be relatively easy, but holding the camera and I'll just show you guys how I did it so we can get the LEDs in there. Okay, so pretty simple. I don't know why. I don't know why my camera is being such a jerk with the lighting right now. That's fine. Um, doesn't look like anybody's had anything up here. So I just got a pry bar and I pulled down on the uh, top part up here um, while I was on there and just kind of pulled down. It's just four retainer clips like this. You don't have to really worry about breaking anything, fortunately. So um, it looks like the LED is right there or well the light is right there i'm going to probably unplug everything so i can get those lights out and put the new ones in it's a bit more complicated than i think really needs to be to pull the bulb out that's fine um there's a couple torch screws that you got to take out um it's a t10 I'll do that in my kit. It's a T10 and it's it like on this side there's one right there and there's another one at the top and it's the same thing over here just reversed so I took that out um, and now I'm going to take the lens off and replace the bulb do that on both sides and then I'll probably have to do something similar on the back one so LEDs in I highly recommend is Taking the housing, plugging into the switch, putting your LED in because it's a single directional LED. There's two prongs, so you have to make sure the polarity is facing the right way. You don't want to get it put back together and be pissed off. So, testing mine now, pretty bright. Um, I like the color. So, front in, back together, white LEDs. I just, you know, slam that back in and it's good to go. So, I'm going to do the back. Real quick, <clears throat> I just pulled on and popped right back down. Now I'm gonna disconnect everything and do the same thing on the front, like I did on the front. Boom. So that's back in together. They're looking pretty bright. So I think I'm gonna like that. Well, I think this one's actually brighter than this one. It could be the angle I'm at. Eh, it may just be the angle I'm sitting at, I think. Or the trunk. Shit. Um, license plate lights. Fuck me. Cool beans. Bottom ones are stupid easy to get to. Um, you just get up there and pull the bulb out. Just get in there and pull the bulb out and it's good. You know the license plate lights, you just gotta try. It'll focus. You just gotta pry on the outside, pushing a tab, but it looks like someone's already broken those tabs for me. So I'm gonna get new housings too, but you can't just get back there, twist, open, and put the new bulbs in. Yeah, these housings are just really dirty on top of it. So I'll buy replacements for those and get them swapped out. Boom. Passenger side done. You can't see shit, but you just gotta get your fingers in there and grab that damn bulb if you can. If you got smaller fingers, it might help. But. Place all those with LEDs. 
Okay, so um, the last issue I wanted to try to figure out was um, the heated seat on the passenger side doesn't work. It it'll come on 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 the screen. It comes on on the screen over here. right now okay well anyways it'll it comes on on the screen here and probably after like a minute or two it it just turns off and the heated seat will actually never come on um, you don't actually ever feel any of the heat shut up I'm not quite sure what that problem is uh, I'll have to research into it. I don't want to just pull the seat out and dig into something I hadn't looked up too much on. <clears throat> Anyways, I want to try to fix whatever the heated seat issue is. I, I don't know. None of that looked like it was picking up on me very well with the lighting. Uh, I want to try to figure out the heated seat issue. I don't know uh, what the problem with that could be. I, I want to research the issue a bit before I dig into taking the whole seat out and pulling the heating element pad or, or whatever out of it one other thing i did notice though is that like i'll turn the cooled seats on and i can hear the fan well actually before i could push no oh, there it goes i can push down on the cushion and stop the fan i don't think that's supposed to happen <laughs> so i'll probably research into the heated seat issue buy the new fan or housing yeah you can just Uh, probably buy whatever parts needed for that. Pull the Recaro out. And hopefully by the time I'll have investigated into the heated seat issue some. To, oh God. to at least dig into both things at once. And figure it out. Like I said, I'm going to do the dash cam wiring. I'll probably do the uh, radar detector wiring at the same time because that's going to be really easy just self tapping into the OnStar system. Um, other than that, uh, it should be good. I do still have a ton of work to do. Uh, the Lexus still has things I need to get involved in on it. Uh, we're probably going to turn it into a drift build. The Lincoln is having a timing issue or something still. I haven't dug into it. Um, there is a misfire going on somewhere still. I'm pretty sure mostly noticeable only under load when driving, not under load when idling. And then the Aprilia has a fuel leak that I'm going to fix. Not a big issue. Uh, it's just got a ga gasket sealant and a new gasket for the fuel pump and fuel tank. Um, and just a couple small things I want to get with that. So, you know, stay up to date with the channel if you're into all that kind of stuff. Uh, we're going to slowly be bouncing around several different things. I got three cars, two motorcycles. So, you know, I may not focus on building one thing at one time. I do kind of like to hop around between all the projects. Yeah, you know, I hate to say it like every other YouTuber. Stay tuned. You know, just keep up to date. Uh, follow me on Instagram right here. Uh, if you want to follow me on Facebook, that's right here. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you're interested in more content or specific things you'd like to see done to the Cadillac, the Lexus, uh, the Lincoln, put them in the comments. I love to hear people's reactions. Um, you know, I had some comments on one of my last videos that kind of made me look more towards what could be the issue on the Lincoln. Uh, so I'll have more follow-up videos on the Lincoln here coming up soon. I'd like to be able to take it out to some car meets. So long as they're not canceled for, you know, the coronavirus. Fucking beers canceling everything, man. So... Appreciate it, guys. Take it easy. Stay sleazy. See you next time.